this is a follow-up from my previous videos on how to digitize your assessment sheets and your worksheets. I'll put the links to those videos below. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you and your students can access your digital Google Slides assignments on your phones. Sadly, not all of us are lucky enough to have a classroom full of Chromebooks or PCs yet, but that doesn't mean that we can't take part in this digital revolution in education too. Most of us have access to phones, or at least access to PCs at home or at school, and research shows that the digital divide is closing, and more and more students are get, gaining access to mobile devices. So we should capitalise on that by training our students and ourselves to succeed in a digital world. If you followed previous instructions on my previous videos, then this should work the same for both you and your students. Step one. Double check your students have downloaded both Google Classrooms and Google Slides. If they haven't, then this won't work. Also, for this to work, students need to be logged into the school Wi-Fi and not their data when in school. Step two, completely ignore Google Slides and log into Google Classroom for now. Find your class. and find the assignment either on the feed or on the Classworks tab. Open your assignment. And step three, this step doesn't apply to students, but in your case as a student, you will have the whole class to choose from. So I'm going to pick Stephanie. In the student's case, they will be brought automatically to this page from step two. You and the students need to click on the attachment to open it. And now you can see the slide, but you can't edit it yet. In the top right, you will see three symbols. Common sense would say that the one that looks like a pen is the one that you would use to edit it, right? But no, unfortunately, it's not common sense in this case. You need to click on the one that looks like a square with an arrow pointing out of it. This will open it in Google Drive or in your Google Slides. And now you can edit the file. So double tap on any of the text boxes to edit them. This will bring up the keyboard so you can type in anything that you would like to. If you would like to add images, there is a plus sign at the top and this will give you an option to not only add images, but you can add shapes, lines, tables, text, pretty much anything that you would like to. And for peer assessment, you can click the dots on the top right to share with a member of your class. Here, you can type in the email address of anybody who is in the class. You must share with somebody who is in the class, so don't allow your students to share it with anybody who is not on the Google emails account. After the peer has made their changes, then it will save automatically once they have closed the document. It isn't like Google Slides on a PC because you can't see the edits being made in real time. And to see the changes, you may need to close the slide and reopen it, but the changes will be saved automatically once the document has been closed. This sounds complicated and it can when you're trying it for the first time in lesson. There will be students who get confused or do it wrong, but it, with perseverance and training, this will quickly become second nature to you and the students and quick and easy for you all to do.